in today's video I'm going to be discussing my favourite beauty products of 2018. This is not going to consist of any skincare products unfortunately because I have very sensitive skin and I've been suffering with a condition for a long time now which I've only recently diagnosed with, shockingly. But I'll be going into that more in another video as I mentioned before, I still haven't got around to do that video. I'm actually waiting to see the full results of my treatment before I actually post before and afters because I started filming this a while ago and yeah so today i'm only going to be discussing makeup related products and also when it comes to skincare i only really use my mum's brand or like a few other products which are to basically cure my skin so i don't really know if that would be beneficial or not right now but maybe in another video so to begin with i'm going to start off with a run through of how I basically do my makeup styling with foundation. You might or might not know this, but I do not use primer anymore because I have very sensitive skin and I can't really use any kinds of creams on my face, nothing creamy, only like water based products. And I have yet to find a really good water based primer. I didn't want to just include any in this video because I honestly personally have not tried any. I've just been applying my makeup straight onto my skin, which is not great. But to prevent any kinds of breakouts or like irritation, I use a mineral based powder right before I apply any kind of proper foundation. So I use a mineral based powder from Violite and I haven't tried any others because growing up this is the only foundation I would use because I really wasn't allowed to wear makeup, didn't really have much interest in it, didn't think I needed it. Um, <laughs> So yeah, I basically used to wear mineral makeup and that helped my skin, so that just acts like a base. Then I have four different favourite foundations of the year. The first being the super high coverage Huda Beauty foundation. I love this one, it's honestly, it's great for a night out, I only wear it when I'm going like for dinner or for like a, a long night out and I know if things are gonna get messy, this is my favorite go-to foundation. Just to put it bluntly, it just, it holds, it sticks on your face, it covers every blemish, and I like the finish of it. It is a bit difficult to work with because it is very matte, and it dries very fast, so like trying to blend stuff is just not, it's not easy. Though I do use a beauty blender to apply this, it's stated I think that's probably best used with a brush, but I don't really like that. My next favourite foundation is something I've recently tried and have been loving. I want to get a different shade in this, but it is the Charlotte Tilbury Magic Foundation. I love this. I wore it for the first time maybe a few months ago. I did a review video on it. If you haven't seen, it is linked in the description box down below. Initially, when I started curating the products for this video, everything was Charlotte Tilbury, and I was like, uh, no. This has to include some more products so I added a few more products that I've been loving in but I love Charlotte Tilbury products I think they're amazing and the although I have one look when I apply just Charlotte Tilbury products I feel like it just looks amazing it's just a different kind of look that I get everything's just so seamlessly going onto my face my next favorite product is a product I've tried at the beginning of this year it is the Radiant Longwear Foundation from NARS. As you can see, it has been used thoroughly and it's just gone all over my makeup bag. I love this one. It's honestly, it's a really nice colour. I use Colour Stromboli, which is a bit darker for me, but um, I like the glow it gives you. And it's also not super drying. It's kind of got a bit of a dewy finish. Not really, but yeah. Um, so I really love that one. Another one of my favourite go-to products, which I've recently been using, which I'm currently wearing today, is the Dior Backstage Foundation. And the shade I wear is 3WO, so Warm Olive. It is a bit darker for me, but I feel like it blends pretty nicely. And I love how it's like really dewy and it's not super matte and it doesn't make my skin feel like it can't breathe, which is kind of what the Huda Beauty Foundation does. If I'm being honest, it just, I feel like my skin's very tight when I wear it, so I prefer wearing lighter foundations. My last favourite foundation, which I haven't really been using a lot, are my Giorgio Armani Luminous Stock Foundations. I mix these two, though I think they're both just wrong shades. Um, so I usually use 6.5 and 6.25 mixed together, but 6.5 is usually best. I thought I'd try and go for like a lighter shade, and then 6.25 just turned out to be a bit darker. 
So those are my favorite one, two, three, six foundations or five foundations. I love those and they've worked really well for my skin over the past few years, but I'm particularly loving the Dual Backstage and the Charlotte Tilbury. But the Giorgio Armani Luminous Silk Foundation is just one of my all-time favorites. I just love it so much. It is a bit pricier, but I feel like if you're investing in a good product, it's worth it. So do not mind. And now I'm gonna briefly talk to you about my concealers. Before I apply my concealer, I use the Urban Decay Naked um, Skin Color Correcting Fluid. Now this is for my under eyes and any like dark spots I might have on my face from like acne scars, not red scars, but just like dark, like blue, blacky kind of patches, like brown patches, which shouldn't be there. And this really helps enhance my under eye area and give me more of a glow. Whereas if I just apply my foundation and concealer on top of like dark bags, I look very gray, so not great. A new favorite I have found is the Charlotte Tilbury Magic Away Concealer. This is the second one I've been through. It is honestly amazing. I love the application method as well. Like it's a little sponge and it doesn't really require a beauty blender or anything because you can just dab everything into it and it just, it goes on so well. The only thing I really don't like about the product is how quickly it finishes. Like I'm obsessed with this. Maybe I'm using too much, but I really love this. It's so good. Next is one of my holy grails, which I've been using for years. It is the NARS Creamy Custard Concealer. I am obsessed with this one. It's just, it's amazing. But another issue, but an issue I have with it is I feel like it only works well with NARS products. Like if I don't use NARS products and I use a different foundation for this, it kind of works well with the Giorgio Armani, but it just doesn't sit properly. Like it'll crease and it just won't mesh too well. So I love it, but I have to be careful when I use this. One of my favorite products, which you guys may or may not believe, is the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer. I watched a few YouTubers actually use this and I was like, wow, your makeup looks so good. And this is like the cheapest concealer, probably the cheapest thing in my makeup bag. It's amazing. I'm actually wearing it right now and I love it. So moving on to setting powders, a recent discovery of mine is the Charlotte Tilbury Magic Powder. It's amazing. I actually double bake, so I use this initially once I set my concealer under my eyes and then I go ahead and apply the Huda Beauty Wake and Bake, no, Easy Bake, Huda Beauty Easy Bake. And one amazing thing I have to say about this product is that it has lasted so long. You get a decent amount of product and it's so worth your money. Like I've had this since the launch, which is probably back in March, if I'm not mistaken. And it has lasted me like literally an entire year. And I love it. The one thing I hated about the Laura Mercier powder, which is what I used to use, was that it would finish so quickly. And I just, the flashback was also not great when you took pictures, like it was just super white. So what I like to do is, because this is a little bit tinted, it's more like the Laura Mercier one, I apply this initially. And this is more finer than the Huda Beauty, so it just goes into my skin very nicely. I pat it in properly. I don't bake with this one. So I just press the product into my skin. And then on top of it, once that's set, I will put the Huda Beauty um, powder in Blondie, which is a bit of a yellow tint on top for a more glowy kind of look. And that will basically bake my skin for a bit and then I'll brush it off. But that's how I kind of created this look. You know, you guys always wonder how I get this. Yeah, if my eyes are looking super tired and dark, I will actually use the Huda Beauty in, I think it's Shortcake or Cupcake, it's a pinky one, and I put that under my eyes um, to just give it a bit of a pinkier glow so it doesn't look grey and dirty, so that is one of my little tips. I will probably be doing a YouTube makeup tutorial soon a lot of you guys have asked one but let's see how things go now my next favorite product is bronzer i don't use cream contour because i don't like it i'm not very good at it though i did really like the charlotte tilbury one it was like a little wand which is amazing but i'm sticking to my bronzing palettes so this is the film star bronze and glow from charlotte tilbury <laughs> It's kind of popped out. It 
think well that's just very unhygienic what i love is products which are small like this compact and contain two more things i don't want to be taking a massive bag of makeup products because it just takes up too much space and it weighs a ton and i want more like space in my shoes so it's very frustrating if you have a massive makeup bag that is just super heavy so i like compact products like this which basically has a sculpting bronzer and a highlight and i do like the highlight i wear it under the huda beauty um highlighter which i'll go into later but speaking of palettes another palette which i've really been loving is the charlotte tilbury instant look in a palette the three minute so this is what it looks like it basically has everything in it it's honestly amazing there's two two three things for your eyes something for your cheeks two blushes and highlighter as well as bronzer it's amazing it's literally everything you need in a palette except for like your foundation concealer scar and everything but um i also love the smoky eye look but this is probably one of my favorites because i like doing a bronzy kind of eye or like a bronze smoky eye then going into more blushes i also really love the orgasm blush from nars this has been a favorite of mine for very long i love it it's a great color it's a bit pink sometimes but when i'm tanned it looks great but one of my other favorite palettes is the huda beauty bronze sands palette which as you guys can see has been destroyed highlighter is life i wish huda came out with individual highlighters because that would just honestly change my life and i do love bora bora which is the bronzer which is sorry the blush i'm currently wearing it's amazing so this is why i can't throw out this palette i still really haven't figured out how to use like the creamy kind of highlights so i haven't really touched that and the aruba bronzer is a bit too dark for me currently but i might go and see if i can get the golden sands palette because the bronze sands is a bit dark for me during the winter time next we're going to talk about brows what i do really love is the anastasia brow with which i cannot actually find but it just helps shape my brows and then i love using the charlotte tilbury brow tint which is so great i love using this just to like define my brows or well, sometimes i'll use it on its own when i don't want to wear much makeup but i want my eyebrows to look a bit more defined and bushy but like also nice so i use this it's great and it also just adds like definition to your face next obviously i don't really use mascara but on my bottom lashes i use this one this is the squat it sugar extreme extension oh extreme dimension lash and this is the mini one which i got in one of the holiday kits and it is actually brown i didn't use any black mascara this just gives it a more natural look and it looks great under my eyes so i do really love the benefit their real mascara when i don't have any lashes on so love this and um, obviously lips i've only been wearing my products and this particular lip color which is actually a lip pencil will be out very soon i know a lot of you guys have been asking but yeah perfume obviously alien and a new one called kirk de Jean, which i've actually just run out of and i need to get my hands on again it is the baccarat bottle from kirk de Jean. I think it's 540 it's like a little red bottle i'll link it down below for you guys but yeah those are my favorite those were my favorite beauty products of 2018 and they will continue to be with me during 2019 and hopefully i'll be able to add some more products to this because i'm really loving these so these are like the main products i take when i travel i'll obviously choose two of my favorite foundations like a really full coverage and like a medium to light coverage and then so on and so forth but yeah i hope you guys enjoyed this video and if you want to shop any of the products i mentioned they will as usual be in the description box down below but thank you guys so much for watching don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and subscribe for more videos i will see you guys in my next video